Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number three from the June 2024 International A Level NXL Pure Mathematics P1 paper. Um, this question here is about transformations of graphs. Here we have a picture or a sketch of a graph um, with the equation y equals f of x. So they don't tell us the actual equation of the graph. We can see it looks like some sort of cubic graph, but we don't have the equation of the graph. The curve passes through the points minus 1, 0, 0, 2, and 3, 0. When it touches the curve uh, or the x-axis at the point 3, 0. Um, on separate diagrams, sketch the curve with the equation y equals in brackets f of x plus 3. So f y equals f bracket x plus 3 that inside the bracket. And also y equals f inside the bracket again minus 3x. On each diagram, show clearly the coordinates of all the points where the curve cuts or touches the coordinate axes. Okay, so first of all, I'll just put, let's move everything down here so we don't have to uh, you know, think too much or keep moving up and down on the screen. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to um, deal with this. Okay, f of x plus 3. So we're going to deal with f of x plus 3. Now, what we have to understand about transformations, I'm going to do a little bit of a, of a kind of a summary of transformations before we actually answer the question itself. You have things which uh, affect the x-coordinates. Okay, so you have the horizontal horizontal transformations horizontal transformations they affect the x coordinates okay and then you have the vertical transformations in this particular question there are no vertical transformations as we see it's all horizontal and they affect the y coordinates they affect the y coordinates now, the horizontal transformations are always what are, you can say, things that are inside the bracket. And you'll understand what I mean. Inside the bracket, you could kind of summarize it to, be, to say. And the vertical transformations are always outside the bracket. Okay? So, for example, if you have f of x plus a. Okay, f of x plus a, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move this to that side. And I'm going to get rid of this. So, this is outside. Outside the bracket. Okay. That's an easy way to write it, I guess. Inside the bracket. Okay, so these are, you know, the, these these are basically what we could say uh, describe the horizontal transformations. Okay, so these are the horizontal transformations inside the bracket affect the x coordinates. And these are the vertical transformations that affect the y coordinates. They're outside the bracket. Okay, now f of x plus a, which is kind of like the transformation that we have to do with here. What this involves is a translation, okay, which is vertical, a horizontal, sorry. Let me just finish this before. I just want to have some space. Okay, so f of x plus a, right, so when you're adding something to the function, so trying to think something from the function, they will always cause a translation, okay? Now, if you're adding something like inside the bracket where Basically, the, the x is replaced by x plus something or x minus something. This will always lead to what's called a translation. So this will be a translation. Okay. And the translation will be horizontal. So it's going to move across, but it's going to be like um, opposite. So if it says plus a, it's going to move the opposite direction. So plus would normally mean to the right. Okay, we think of it to mean to the right, but we're going to go to the left. It's like it's kind of inside the bracket, and you can say now, opposite. All right? So f of x plus a would be a translation of minus a 
zero. And if you had f of x minus a, this would be translation of a zero, opposite sign. Okay, whereas if it's outside the function, if it's f of x, close bracket plus a, this would be a translation. And it would be zero on the x, but a on the y. So it says plus, you go up. And if, if it's f of x minus a, it would also be a translation. So the whole thing will move down. So zero, negative a. Zero, negative a. So this would move up. This would move down. This would move left. This would move right. Okay. So in this case, we have f of x plus 3. So this is inside. Okay. So it affects the x coordinates. The x, the x values are affected. Okay. And it's opposite. So basically, all the coordinates, okay, so all the x coordinates are, um, you know, you basically take away 3 from them. So you have 3, 0 becomes 0, 0. And negative 1, 0 becomes negative 4, 0. I'll just move this down a bit. And you have um, 0, 2 becomes negative 3, 2. You subtract 3 from all the x. Subtract 3 from the x. Subtract 3 from the x. Subtract 3 from the x. The y is unchanged. Okay, y is unchanged. So basically what will happen here is instead of it, this going through minus one zero, it's going to go through minus four zero instead of three zero zero zero. So it's going to be kind of like lopsided on this side. Okay. And it will look something like this. I've, I've, I've prepared something a bit earlier, I think. Yeah. So I'll just um, copy that down to here. So it was originally something like this, okay? Something like this, okay? That would have been minus one, two, and that would be three. But the whole thing has moved to the right, to the left, sorry, three spaces. So that turning point here is now at the origin. So they told us here to show clearly the coordinates of all the points with the curve cuts or touches the coordinate axis. So basically, we're going to show this point here, which is 0, 0. We're going to show this point here, which is negative 1, 0. I know I cheated a bit by copying and pasting the curve. Uh, you're going to do that freehand. All right. But basically, that's what's happened. Okay. So there we have um, the answer to part A. All right. So this is a translation. So we did a bit of, trans, uh, a bit of a kind of, um, you know, review of these, these type of translations. Inside, it's horizontal translation. Outside, it's vertical translation. Inside, x coordinates are affected. Outside, y coordinates are affected. Inside, kind of opposite. Outside, normal. Okay? So now we're going to do a similar thing with part B, which is about f of x, f of negative 3x. So again, we can see that there's been a change that has happened inside the brackets. Okay, so here we have, we'll talk about horizontal. This is going to be in this type, in this case, it's going to be horizontal stretches. These are stretches. Okay, when you replace the x with something inside where it's multiplying the x rather than adding to it. All right, so the, there's, there's two parts to this. One of them is a horizontal stretch, which is f3x, that part of it. Okay, so when you have, for example, f of a times x, this is a horizontal stretch. Again, it's inside the function. Okay, and it only affects the x coordinates as before, but it also it's opposite. So the factor, the stretch factor, 
is going to be equal to 1 over A, the reciprocal of this. So in this case, it's going to be a stretch factor of 1 third. Okay, the stretch factor is going to be the reciprocal of this. Right, so if it says 3, the, the factor is going to be a third. It's like opposite because it's inside. Um, if it was a vertical stretch, don't put two there. if it was a vertical stretch, Okay, that would be something like 3 times f of x. Or you can say a times f of x. So this is a vertical stretch in the y direction, basically. And the factor here is a. So in this case, the x coordinates multiplied by 1 over a. In this case, the y coordinates multiplied by, one, by, by a, by the same. When it's outside, it's normal. Inside, it's opposite. Reciprocal. All right, so for example, if it said f of minus 4 over 3, you'd put f, or, well, 4 over 3, you'd put 3 over 4. Okay, and the second thing that's happened is this negative inside. If it's negative inside, then basically what happens is the x coordinates change their sign. When the x coordinates change their sign, it reflects in the y axis. So this is a reflection. in the y-axis. Why? Because the x-coordinates change their sign. So if you have two points here, if you have a point here, for example, suppose that's, um, you know, 3, 2, for example, and you change the sign of the x-coordinate, it's going to become minus 3, 2. The y-coordinates will stay the same. It's reflected across the, the y-axis. Okay? So when it's outside, like this, minus f of x, then it's the y coordinates that change. The x coordinates stay the same because outside, y coordinates change their sign, and this is reflection in the x axis. So this would reflect, this is a reflection in the x axis, and this is a reflection in the y axis. Okay, so we have to understand that. So two things are going to take place here. First of all, you're going to have a horizontal stretch. So if I take, um, have we got it already here, paste? If I take my original diagram, and it looked something like this originally, okay, as you can see from this, something like this, right? Now what's going to happen is firstly it's going to be stretched by a factor of a third. So this point will stay where it is. This will still be 0, 2, okay? But this point here, which is um, 3, What's going to happen to the point three zero? The x coordinate is going to be multiplied by a third. So you're going to have three is going to become uh, one third. Three times uh, three times a third, which is one third. So one third. So three times a third, which would be one. So that'd be one zero. So three third is going to become one zero. Sorry. Okay. So three third is going to become one zero. And the other point, minus 1, 0, you multiply that by a third, it's going to be kind of minus a third, 0. And 0, 2 is going to stay as 0, 2, because you multiply the x coordinate by a third. All right? So the thing is going to be like squashed almost, you could say. It's going to get kind of look a bit squashed like this. All right? So this will still stay like that. But at this point now, okay, oops, we... Sorry. Something like this. Okay, let's move this down a bit. Okay, so it's going to look something like this. Okay, so this is going to be now 1, 0. Okay, this is going to be minus a third. 0, and this is going to still be 0, 2, okay? Now, that is just the first step. Then what happens, it reflects in the y-axis, okay? So basically, it's going to be a mirror image this way, right? So this is going to be over there, this is going to be over here. So it's going to now, instead of going through 1, 0, uh, turning at 1, 0, it's going to turn at minus 1, 0. Okay, so that's going to change to here. Okay, and instead of being minus one third zero, it's going to be 
one third and zero. So that will change from here. But this play, this thing will stay the same um, because it doesn't, you know, it's reflected in the y axis that's on the mirror line. Okay, so this whole thing basically just gets flipped, which I think I can do here. Okay, and it will look something like this now. Sorry, I did the wrong way around. Ignore that. I flipped it the wrong way around. Flip, it should be left, right, sorry. Okay, that's better. Okay, I was wondering what's going on there. So it's gonna look something like, like this now. Okay, so it looks something like this. I'll just uh, adjust it in a minute. Okay, something like this. Okay, so that's how it should look. So that's minus one zero, a third zero, and that's zero two. Okay, so that's this is like you could say after the first transform trans transformation. Let me just get these move them across a bit. So this is step one and step two. They change sign, so it becomes minus one zero. This becomes one third zero, and this becomes or stays zero two. So this didn't change the whole time. Okay, so this is first step, and this is second step. Okay, first step, then second step. Okay, so that's how we can draw the sketch of the um, transformed graph for B. So we have to have these three coordinates there. All right, so that concludes this question. Um, I hope that was clear. Other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that will appear on the top right of the screen at the end of this video. Other questions from the topic of translations or transformations of graphs, um, you'll find in the playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and you can watch a video here which shows you how to use my channel to find what you're looking for. Thank you for watching and see you soon.